Hi everyone, uh, I am Ms. P. Induja, working as an assistant professor in the Department of uh, Chemical Engineering, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. So in this session, we are going to see about the uh, manufacturing process of phosphoric acid. So in manufacturing uh, process of phosphoric acid, we will see uh, what are all the types of phosphoric acid and what are all the raw materials and uh, reactions of phosphoric acid. And consumption of phosphoric acid and methods uh, for manufacturing the phosphoric acid and their properties and their uses are going to see in this session. Coming to the introduction, uh, the phosphoric acid is also known as orthophosphoric acid or we can say it as uh, phosphoric 5 acid. Uh, it is a mineral acid or we can say it as uh, inorganic acid. So this phosphoric acid has a formula of H3PO4 and this orthophosphoric acid molecules can combine with uh, combine to form a variety of compound which is also known as uh, phosphoric acid. And next one is uh, manufacturing methods of phosphoric acid. So there are four uh, different manufacturing methods are there in phosphoric acid. So one is uh, using phosphate rock and blast furnace and second one is uh, using phosphate rock and electric furnace. And third one is oxidation and hydration of phosphorus. And fourth one is wet process or from sulfuric acid and phosphate rock. So first two is very important one in the phosphoric acid. Uh, many industries are uh, offering this first two process that is phosphate rock and blast furnace and phosphate rock and electric furnace. So coming to the uh, types of the phosphate fertilizer. So there are different types of phosphatic fertilizers are there. So one is ground rock phosphate and another one is bone meal or we can say it as single superphosphate and third one is triple superphosphate and fourth one is thermal phosphate. So these four are the important types of phosphatic fertilizers. So this uh, may be manufactured in other industries. So what are all the importance of phosphorus fertilizer? So the first importance is so the phosphorus that is P is essential for all living organisms and the phosphorus fertilizer that is the plant must have phosphorus for normal growth and maturity. So for growing of plants we need phosphorus fertilizer only and phosphorus plays a vital role in photosynthesis, respiration and uh, uh, energy storage and as well as in transfer cell division and cell enlargement and also in several other processing plants. So that is like chemical plants. So coming to the consumption of phosphatic fertilizer. So it is given in the millions metric tons. So here you can see that uh, million empty nutrition. So it is nothing but millions metric tons. So uh, the different countries they have given here. So in India at the year of 1970 you can see the uh, production of phosphatic fertilizer is 541. And after a 10 year gap, you can be able to see that the increases of consumption of phosphatic fertilizers is increased while comparing to other countries. And so this is the consumption of phosphatic fertilizer in various countries. So the next is our total phosphate product. So in the diagram you can able to see that uh, there are different uh, phosphate products are there. So we will see what are all the uh, phosphate products and other products are here. So first is you can able to see that uh, phosphate rock is there and some other raw materials are given there. So like sulfur, potash, coal, oil and natural gas. So first is uh, phosphate rock. So from the phosphate rock we will get phosphate concentrate. So from the concentrate we will get super phosphoric acid and phosphoric acid and from this super phosphoric acid we will get nitrophosphate and with the help of phosphoric acid and uh, phosphate concentrate we will get triple super phosphate that is TSP and uh, with the help of sulfur uh, we will get sulfuric acid and with the help of sulfuric acid and phosphoric acid we will get single super phosphate. So you can able to see that in yellow color they have mentioned it and with the help of uh, the phosphoric acid and uh, sulfur we will get mono ammonium phosphate 
and diammonium phosphate that is MAP and DAP and with the help of the potash so we will get potash concentrate with the help of potash concentrate sulfur and even uh, phosphoric acid we will get NPK fertilizer so NPK is nothing but nitrogen phosphate and potash and uh, you can see that from coal oil and natural gas raw material so we will get uh, the synthesis gas and from the synthesis gas we will get power generation and uh, you can see that from the synthesis gas also we can get carbon dioxide so the help of carbon dioxide and ammonia so you, there is a uh, urea so urea is mentioned that two aroma that is ammonia and carbon dioxide so ammonia and carbon dioxide uh, we will get urea and uh, at the last is uh, ammonium nitrate so you can see that from nitric acid and ammonia you will get ammonium nitrate so this is the process uh, we will get the product as a uh, final product from the raw materials so here you can able to see that uh, different phosphoric products are there so we can see that nitrophosphate triple superphosphate single superphosphate monoammonium phosphate diammonium phosphate and npk fertilizer so these are all the phosphate products other than that urea and ammonium nitrate are other products coming to the raw materials for the phosphoric acid so we are taking the phosphoric acid uh, that is 1000 kg and phosphate rock as second raw material and third one is uh, sand that is silica is taken as a uh, third raw material and fourth is coke and fifth is uh, bracket uh, binder or uh, charon electrode for uh, charon electrode uh, the electric furnace method we are using charon electrode for normal uh, furnace method we are using uh, bracket binder uh, that is for uh, blast furnace method and there is a uh, three reactions or uh, takes place for both uh, blast furnace method and also for electric furnace method uh, so there is the reaction first reaction is uh, calcium phosphate plus uh, silicon dioxide plus carbon which gives uh, phosphorus plus carbon monoxide plus calcium silicate uh, sorry calcium silicon dioxide and uh, uh, we will get the phosphorus plus carbon monoxide plus oxygen we will get uh, P2O5 that is uh, phosphorus pentoxide plus carbon dioxide so and third reaction is uh, from the phosphorus pentoxide uh, plus water we will get uh, phosphoric acid that is H3PO4 and the yield for uh, blast furnace method is 85 to 90 percentage and the yield for uh, electric furnace method is 87 to 92 percentage so uh, 87 to 92 percentage of yield is high so we are so in mainly ma maximum industries are using furnace method only so electric furnace method only we are using for manufacturing of uh, uh, phosphoric acid so next one is uh, manufacturing for process of phosphoric acid uh, by electric furnace method so here you can able to see the flow diagram uh, so it represent the uh, manufacturing process of electric furnace method so here the raw materials are uh, phosphate rock and sand and coke so here phosphate rock is uh, purified and uh, resized and sent to the sintering oven and top of the sintering oven you can see the sand is given as the raw material and uh, after the uh, sintering and sizing is done so bottom we will get the uh, byproducts that is unsized particles as uh, are removed and ferrophosphorus also removed so ferrophosphorus is nothing but non-metallic phosphorus so that also removed from the uh, sintering and sizing uh, column and after uh, sintering and sizing we are adding the coke so coke grease is added uh, in the process so after coke is added the phosphoric phosphate rock is uh, uh, converted to the phosphorus and then it is sent to the electric furnace uh, so in electric furnace the temperature is maintained so the temperature maintained here is 2400 degree fahrenheit or we can say 1300 degree celsius so uh, here the furnace uh, so the gas from the furnace and phosphorus and carbon monoxide 
or removed from the success uh, 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 sorry removed from the suction process and uh, um, oxidation produces uh, p2o5 uh, to the hydrator so here you can see that uh, hydrator is there so it is given in the blue color column so in hydrator the temperature is uh, of about uh, 30 85 degrees celsius on top of the water we are spraying the water here so that the temperature is reduced so the temperature here is 85 degrees celsius and uh, the bottom of the hydrator we will get the product so that is uh, uh, phosphatic pentoxide so after hydrator we will get the phosphatic pentoxide that is p2o5 uh, p2o5 to um, phosphoric acid so after uh, hydrator is done so there is a, a precipitator so from the precipitator we will remove the carbon dioxide that is co2 is removed and uh, bottom product we will get uh, uh, as phosphoric acid and that is sent to the purifier uh, from the purifier we will uh, remove the uh, arsenic and uh, it is sent to the sand filter after filtering uh, uh, in a sand filter column we will get the phosphoric acid of about 85 percentage as yield so uh, washing for washing purpose we were we are sending to the uh, water tank and washing uh, the uh, phosphoric acid and we are drying it so these are all the uh, manufacturing process of electric furnace method so main thing is we have to uh, maintain the temperature in the uh, electric furnace at the temperature level of 2400 degree fahrenheit so this is the manufacturing process of phosphoric acid so next one is uh, properties of uh, phosphoric acid so here the formula the molecular formula for phosphoric acid is h3po4 so we already know that and the molecular weight is uh, 97.994 gram per mole so after uh, uh, the yield we will get the weight of uh, 97.994 gram per mole and appearance is white solid or it may be colorless and boiling point is 158 degrees celsius and the melting point for anhydrous is 42.35 degrees celsius and hemihydrate for uh, uh, 29.32 degrees celsius and the density is for liquid uh, 1.885 gram per mole and uh, for uh, solution 85 percentage of solution we will get uh, the density is 0 1.685 gram per mole and for crystal at 25 degrees celsius means we will get the density of uh, 2.030 uh, gram per mole so for crystal only we are getting the high density and the solubility is uh, here so it is soluble in only in water and finally coming to the applications of phosphoric acid so here are some of the applications are given so one is uh, it is used for the preparation of hydrogen uh, halides and also it is used as a rust converter so it converts uh, uh, reddish brown ion oxide to uh, black ferric phosphate so that is fe2o32 fepo4 so it is converted by using this rust converter and uh, third is food grade phosphoric acid is used to acidify foods and beverages such as various colas and uh, as an ingredient in over the counter anti nausea medication that also contain high level of sugar content so that is uh, glucose and as well as fructose and another use is uh, it is used uh, in many teeth whiteners to eliminate plaque uh, and also it is used as an external standard for nmr and hplc so nmr is nothing but uh, nuclear magnetic resonance and hplc is nothing but high performance liquid chromatography so that's all about the uses so these are all the uh, manufacturing process of phosphoric acid Thank you.